Which one? It's got to be the top one, on it? Oh, I don't know, he's pretty sick. I've not even done an intro to why we're here. We are here at Hope Tech, doing the intro finally. Something special on. We're going to show you in a bit, but first we've got some jobs to do, haven't we? Come on. Right. I will be back. We're going through to where true magic happens. We're going to just quickly nip through the factory. That is a crunk. Marge is on a mission, isn't he? You give him everything he wants, you understand? That is me. That is my foot. Look at this lad. Are we getting nowhere near a shot of this? That's me. And see that skinny lad there? That's him, believe it or not. Let's go and see him. <laughs> I've just been showing you on the big poster. When me and him were absolutely... What were we, what were we doing that day? New Enduro kit. kit. Right, we're going through to the Hall of Fame here. I am in, of course. Look at this door handle. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tons of history in this room. Obviously the track bike. My custom painted. I think, I'm gonna say Fat Creations did this. Pretty sick. I'm sure they said I could keep that, but I never actually came and got it. But yeah, very patriotic. Heap of history here. Look at the, we've got the, one of the original Pace, full suspensions. Cannondale, crazy downhill bike. Staple of British downhill, the orange. Obviously the Hope range and a bunch of hardtail classics. But the Gambler is the beast. The good old Gambler. Home from home. The tire's flat. I'm just feeling set up, eh? Don't recall ever, um, my God, it's small, isn't it? Very small. Brakes feel amazing. <laughs> yeah, lovely, lovely. Here we are. This is where the magic happens. There's some money's worth here. Matt Rushton here is gonna give us a quick factory tour. He's the man behind the Pro 5 or his construction anyway, so we'll go see him. Matthew's on the shop floor here. What are you knocking up here, mate? Bottom brackets. Bottom brackets here. Oh, here we have the end product. That'll go to polishing. Yeah. Anod yeah, Anodize and etch, yeah, yeah, put in a box, sent off to your local bike shop. That is a hub forging, obviously. I'm gonna say, I reckon that's one of them. Maybe not. Maybe not, I don't know. What hub's that for? Oh, it's for a fat bike hub. That is a pedal embryo. Is that the right term? I don't know. That's halfway. Halfway house. Wow. And they have to be turned over and flipped, yeah. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Look how shiny it is. Very pretty. I know I've already looked at a crank forging, but that is pretty impressive. Looks quite short. I'm going to say that's a 155. He's anodizing. Looks quite a messy process, so we're not going to get too close. And it's very noisy in here. But yeah, these are all the tanks. So I'm pretty sure this is almost fully automated, the recycling. And at the end product, all the waste, obviously CNC, there is a lot of waste. However, all recycled. And we create these beautiful aluminium poos. Imagine passing that. Oh, swath. Oh, <laughs> Brake master cylinder forging for the Tech 4. Like you can literally see 
You can see it, can't you? Do, 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 do. We're going to see the man. There he is. I brought him a present. No, bris no biscuits. We've got a camera. Don't, because everyone will send him hubs. How are we doing, mate? Yeah, good, mate, yeah. I brought you these. Excellent. Did you get mince pies? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, mince pies as well. So this is wheels. This is wheels. What else can we say? This magic happens. This is where it happens. What are you building here? This is single speed 2930. What? Single what the hell is that for? Well. Hipster. Yeah. Can we say that? Yeah. Can you say hipster? Bit, hipster. That'd be it's got to be, on it? Yeah. Photos for the best room ever. Oh, mate, yeah. Absolutely bomb-proof. Absolutely bomb-proof. Yeah, I'm buzzing. The merch yeah. hasn't uh, branched yeah. out. That's prototype, isn't it, mate? Yeah, you meant to hide that. Got the feeling in your bones. Make you feel right at home. What do we think? Tasmanian Devil, massive fan, as a kid. Just knock these up, Marge, quickly. What do you think, mate? I like them, well done. <laughs> Panicking for my job at the minute, but I'll be all right. This guy is the man. He is the man. We're going to get these on the bike for Hardline. We're going to Tasmania. You can't have the Tasmanian devil on your bike. So, right, we're going to laser etching to create the supersonic Tasmanian devil mega reservoir cap. Let's go. Did your best to scam me off Tried to put to rest my voice Tried to make me think I don't have much of a choice Continuing with Continuing with our factory tour I don't even know what this bit is <laughs> There's just Bits everywhere But we're here, this is laser etching And hopefully we're going to film the laser Excited for some etch, Excited for some etching that These are going to be so sick. No, no, sorry, Maybe the sickest top caps we'll the, ever. We'll, we'll see. You know what I mean? See what um, so. the viewers think. What oh, do I press? That, just that green. That. that yeah. Now I am a qualified CNC laser etching machinist. Is insane. How cool is that? Happy man. <laughs> right, let's go and build this beast. So we're in the, this is the carbon zone. I'm calling it the carbon zone. I'm pretty sure this is where the 916 is also made. So yeah, we're gonna pass through here, up to assembly and assemble my beast. Right, cat's out the bag. Hope a launch in bronze for 2024. We've got the new colour and we're running it a hard line. So this is it. We're running almost bronze everything. And it looks beautiful. Very happy man. Do you know where I put my brick? Oh, there it is. Full bronze. We're going full bronze. 155 mil long, Evo crank, Exi bolt for rear. Yeah. Mm, look at this, Picasso yeah. on the brush. <laughs> Do you want to get the spin shot? One, two, three. Got some uh, poor man's gears here. They are cheap, aren't they? <laughs> they are very cheap. And people say, why do you run GX? It's poor man's gears. And I say, I'm just going to rive it off anyway. It might only last a week. We can't not put a set of Hope 12 speed jockey wheels on this. I'll tell you one good thing about these jockey wheels. They're not narrow wide. Anyone will know, down a race run, jumps off the narrow wide, you pedal in, you bike. 
drives you mad. You get rid of that by running these. Did you watch Taz? Yeah. Did you watch Taz? Hey, baggy eyes. Best show ever. Yeah. It was for ADHD sufferers like myself. <laughs> <laughs> we all have a bit of Taz in us. <laughs> Northern AC. Height of winter. What month are we in? February. We've got snow outside. We're melting in here. Mechanic. Not, not mechanic. What's, what's good? We're gonna get that. Put it on, it'll spin. <laughs> oh no, it's just it moving. <laughs> what an absolute banana. What a banana. Whoa. Big old bronze dinner plate. We've got a 203 on the front. And so is, that, is that direct 203? Yeah, direct yeah, direct, two, direct 203. Right. Yeah. Right, Don't know why. Yeah, Just is. Okay. Rear's direct 200. What's this? Crystal meth? A rim, a rim prep. Always, ripe, always wipe your rim before you tape it, eh, Rob? Yeah. Just for any. There we go. Well, oh, nice. Right, we have a Fortis 30 rim here. And some Nyauk proof 30mm tape. Get it in, get that foam in, foam it in. Nice and tight. I like a chunky overlap, six inch overlap. Get that there. Right. We've got an eight inch overlap because we're going to hard line. Get that nice and warm with your foam. You know what I did the other day for the first time in my life ever? Went to put the hole through the valve, done it on a spoke. <laughs> Doing it on the spoke as well through the spoke because obviously that's the way the valve trap is. I'm going purple, purple valves to match my sticker. We are running the classic DHF 3C max grip. Uh, hardline looks super hard pack, super fast rolling. So we're going to go for an old favorite of mine, two front minions, rolling speed, grip, everything, you name it, this tire does it. So yeah, front and back, DHF. How many biscuits do I owe you? Millions. 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 Where is your jug of sealant? I hope you've got an airline for these. No. Are you kidding? <laughs> I've had too many coffees. No, no, I'm just hyper. I'm a hyper dragon. How many coffees have you had? Two. Oh. Two coffees. So we have got the new Pro 5 downhill hub. It's a dedicated seven speed free hub. I'm running the GX, because I'm poor as we talked before. But you can obviously run an XD driver with an XO cassette or make up your own if you want. But obviously I recommend to run a seven speed SRAM setup. Um, but yeah, other than that, super strong. Dishless build on the 30mm Fortis, hardline ready. Obviously the front hub, Pro 5, 110mm wide boost. Put these little spaces in, and she's 20mm ready. Right, we need some rotor bolts. There's some goodies in here. I can't see for looking. There's so many shiny bits, but I can't see any rotor bolts. Draw down. Nope. Last one. Whee! Look at this! They're titanium bolts. It's like the bags from Breaking Bad. Yeah, but that's better than Breaking Bad, isn't it? Titanium bolts. Get up. <laughs> better get 24 than eight. 
I've got two sets of wheels to do. This is the secret to the solidest brakes ever. That's it though, I won't have to touch these ever again. 100%, full confidence in Rob. Right, Rob had some mega little tips there for bleeding your brakes. The final one is dang dangle the caliper. Just dangle it, eh, Rob? Yeah. Obviously, when the brake is up here, there is a chance of air being trapped up in this piston. So dangling it just helps with the flow and hopefully flushes any naughty little bubbles out. We've got saddles in bags. Saddles in bags. Right. This is a race bike at the end of the day, so I would obviously favour SDG iFly, but hard line, big jumps, potential nasty landings. So we could consider the Apollo saddle, which is SDG's toughest saddle. But I think I'll take that just in case. But for now, we're going to go with the iFly. Right, so new this year, we have AMS, All Mountain Style. They're supporting me with frame protection kits. Uh, they actually did a collab with Red Bull Hardline, so it makes sense to run this. We've got a bit of the Wales course here. We're going to slap him on the top tube. We've got some other little stickers to protect the down tube and the chain stays. Keep my bike nice and safe all week, especially when you're flying, because your bike gets trash when you're flying. But um, I'll put a link in the bio to these guys. Check them out. They do a whole bunch of stuff. But hopefully we'll do a gas to merch collab at some point. Slap it on. AMS, my new sponsor this year. Right, who's AMS? All Mountain Style, and they do frame protection kits, Sam. Right. Available online, okay. or through Extra UK, so just go to your local bike shop, and they should be able to source them for you, no problem. Yeah. You know when we're uplifting at the mountain and the bike rack wrecks your down tube. I'm gonna slap these three just on the down tube here. I'm gonna run these really close because my uplift system, the rack isn't the friendliest. And this is an area that's quite vulnerable to abuse. But I'm loving these illustrations. Really cool. And there's loads of patterns to choose from. That's actually like perfect fit. So yeah, I'm a monkey for rubbing my heel left foot forward, obviously. So the crank's there, my heel's there, basically. I end up rubbing away. But these are so easy to apply, no bubbles. Lovely. When I was young, my daddy said, gotta keep one eye open in your bed. Cause there's a time coming when the devil Wait. gonna come for you. So much We're getting close to the end of the jigsaw. Picasso. Picasso. I was torn between black or silver pedals. We've gone black, Crane Brothers, Mallet DH. Ready to rumble. The cannon, I was one of the, no, I was the first man on the cannon. Ever hardline. The final piece of the jigsaw, the Crud XL. I really hope we don't need this in Tasmania, but we're putting on just in case. Doesn't even need zip ties this. All on O-rings. Take it on and off in seconds. There we go, she's on. Right, that is the hardline bike build done. New proof descent, covered in the new bronze, available now. I'm pretty sure once this video drops, you are good to go, get it ordered. Thanks for the build, Rob. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for your Pleasure. time. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you on track.